What is this? It appears that in this instance of the Grimward Nox, the enmity has crystallized, also known as the Lacrima. Lacrimosa. They appear in places where Lemuries gather. The concentration of enmity becomes so dense that it forms a solid mass. It makes my skin crawl every time I see it. The enmity here must be at critical levels for that to happen. Well, we've got to get rid of them, right? Yes, that Lacrimae provoke the Lemuries, which in turn produce more enmity. What are you on about? If we do not stop this, the Nox will manifest into the real world. It already has. So all we have to do is smash them before then. There isn't a moment to spare. Our objective for this Nox is to destroy the Lacrimae. Creamy. Yeah, yeah, every time. Destroy them all. Whoa! I don't know what, what's happening. Oh. What's this? I don't know, but it's dead now. Well, yeah, I probably do. What is this? It's an enemy. I thought it was helping. by destroying all of Lars. It's a mouldy walking fish bastard. It's a lovely day. It's a very nice, peaceful, quiet day. Oh, it's over. That wasn't an S rank, probably. Creamy scene. Well, 
Why? Keyboard spamage. Keyboard destruction conversation. How was that an S rank? I, I don't even know what I did. I knew you had it, Adel. But sure, I'll take it, I guess. Yeah, the ugly things always taste the best, as we've learned from Made in Abyss, I think. I'll be taking my leave now. Me too, catch you later. Oh, before you go, we should tell them about what happened on Artis and Lane at all, should we? I guess so. Crimson King and White Cat explained the theft on Artis and Lane with the others. Well, I, I feel always flattered that we have imposters. It was only a matter of time. Um, now do you see why I was against giving people the wrong impression? I'm sorry. It's in the past now, but something about this doesn't f sit right with me. Well, you have probably got a big ass, so it's hard to sit right. So, what's your plan? Don't get the wrong idea, I ain't playing detective with you chumps. Figured as much. Um, what about you, doll? As a doll, I do not have desires of my own. However... Um, never mind that. Oh no, is it that thing that I hate? Where they're gonna tell you something and they say, Oh, never mind. It's nothing. It's of no importance. If it's that important, then be my guest. What if you said it's of no importance? Or is this to something else? I couldn't care less what you do. Oh my god, he got it right. It also drives me crazy when people say I could care less to mean that they don't care about something. No, you couldn't care less, because if you could care less, that means you care some amount. Sorry guys, I'm gonna sit this one out too, I've got other engagements. But I'll let you know if I come across any information. Wish I could help too, but it's just not a great time for me now. As in right now. Sorry, maybe next time. Boom boom. Ah, the grim world is collapsing, goodbye. Oh! Well, well that's our cue, good luck. Ha, <laughs> see you around. Take care. Boop. Yeah, luckily he said it right. Couldn't care less, but... At least people are catching on lately, it seems. I see people complaining whenever somebody says couldn't care less. I mean, could care less. Preach it. Or whatever. Ah, what a... Landmark. Artisan Lane. The Una, Una Bomber. I don't know what that is. This is Artisan Lane, the site of all those recent thefts. The antique shop was one of the victims. We should go ask around there. Should we really? Oh, wait, isn't that? It probably is. Eufa? Oh, it really isn't a good time for you right now. After all. Um, you feel you okay? What? Oh geez, sorry I didn't see you guys. Guess I was a little out of it there, haha. <laughs> out for a walk? <laughs> Are you the thief? I... Well, I guess you could say that. It's such a nice day out and all. So I thought, hey, why not take, why not make a trip to the market for some veggie plants and soak it in? Soak in the veggie plants. What are you? Veggie plants? I didn't think they sell, sell those here at Artisan Lane. Oh, did I say plants? I meant plates. Chanty wanted me to get some dishware. Plus, I have to deliver something to one of my friends in the entertainment district. That's a whole lot of errands. I don't know where you get the energy, Eufa. It's honestly kind of impressive. Well, we've all got our saving graces. Yeah, yours are your boobs. So I'm guessing you guys are here to go check out the antique shop, like you said. Uh, yeah, that's right. Well, here's hoping the culprits are caught soon, for everyone's sake. Anyway, I've got to run. See you back at the bar. Sure thing. Whoa, and she died. Ugh. Eufa? 
certain idiosyncrasies. Oh. But a lot of people say I could care less. Or couldn't care less. I don't know who the Unabomber is though. So maybe. Oh no, you're even paler than you were before. It's nothing, I'm just a little tired is all. We'll walk you back. Are you okay? We'll walk you back to the bar. Oh, it's fine, honest. Besides, I've caused you guys enough trouble as it is. What are you saying, Yufa? You've been nothing but a help to us this whole time. Man's voice. Oh no. What are you doing here? Oh, doggy. Thought I'd come by and help with all the ruckus in Artisan Lane. Don't know you were here too, though. You for? Wait, did I miss something? I get it now. She's been run off her feet ever since the bar opened. Exhaustion must have finally caught up. Yeah, exhaustion's catching up to me. Barely a dungeon in this video, but I guess that other dungeon sort of counted with all the traps. Yuffie works harder than the rest of us put together. That's what Shanti told me. So he called all of you other slack other people slackers. Yuffie. All right, you guys still have things to do, right, Adol? I'll bring Yuffie back to the bar with me. Thanks, Dogie. Sorry for all this. Go on now, none of that. When one of us fails, the rest of us pick him up, pick him back up again. What? Like we keep saying, at the end of the day, you're the one giving us a hand here. Well, I can't argue with that, I guess. Professor? Oh. Oh dear. What a mouldy person. It's weird, the, the unexpected little things that you could get identified by that you probably think nothing of. You can help me back in the bar now. You can help me back to the bar now, it should go good after some rest. Sure thing, I'll do my best to keep you standing till then. Don't push yourself too hard, okay, you for? I'll try, sorry for slowing you guys down with this. Yeah, you better be. Enough talking. Well, see you later then, Adol. Maybe make sure you give those thieves what's going to them, yeah? After seeing Dogi and Yufa off, you resumed your search of Artisan Lake. I didn't start it yet, I can't resume what hasn't begun. Why, a tree! That's amazing. It's beautiful! It's just a tree, Adol! Fuck. I'm gonna run up it. No, I'm not. Right, time to find more graffiti and shite. No, time for more talking, actually. Oh, this is... What shop is this? What is this? Well, it's an antique shop, the one that was stolen from, in fact. Here there, what are you up to? Eek! Oh, just kidding. Credo, don't scare me like that. So you're helping after all? Maybe. Hmph, not like I did on purpose. Since I'm working with the Romans, I got stuck investigating the thefts. I was gonna ditch, till I realised how much better off I'd be pickered backing off you two. Wait, does Master Chatelard not know about you being a monstrum, Credo? Why would he? With where I'm stationed in the chapter house, I barely even get a glimpse of the guy. Wait, didn't he turn back, like, after the fight, though? Besides, it's not like he'd ever catch on to some low-ranking flunky like myself. Why are you asking? No reason, it just, just kind of a wonder you even got into the Knights in the first place. Sorry, I didn't mean it like that. Huh, well, you might have a point. I do? Ha ha ha, forget it. Not like it matters either way, so you guys want to stay out here? We should head inside. I wasn't ready, but okay. Right, I'll come with. 
now I can go get that other graffiti. No, I can't. Um, the owner Rodario should be around here somewhere. Or oh, maybe I won't go a bit longer than than usual. I'm ready to stop. Oh, he's with a customer right now. Could we wait here until he's finished at all? An antique shop, huh? Not my thing. Does something... Does something feel weird about this place or am I finally going crazy? We already are crazy. Are there references here? By any chance? Mushroom lamp. Is this the doll? A beautiful antique doll is on display. Though it's quite old, it's apparent that it's been well maintained. I am very sorry, sir. But that one isn't for sale, I'm afraid. I said earlier in this that I wonder if doll is an actual doll turned into a human when she's monstrum. But I don't know. I don't know if inanimate objects could be, but I bet this is her. I couldn't help but admire it. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't she just the loveliest thing you've ever seen? She's the pride and joy of this little shop. Her name is Anna Mona. She's been around ever since the Hundred Years' War. Whatever that was. Hundred Years' War? <laughs> You're not from Balduk, are you, dear? Glia was in a war with Bretai, a region across the sea. It lasted a hundred years. That's too long. All Glians, especially those who live here in Balduk, Know it well. Mrs. Rindal. Rindal. My, my. Not Ridgendale. Oh, you're one of Pendleton's daughters, aren't you? That's right, little Krisha. My goodness, how much you've grown. And we are all grateful for your service, Sir Knight. Sure. What can I do for all of you today? I don't know, stuff. Well, heard that a thief broke into your store. Oh my, you came because you were worried about us? Yeah, I guess. Yes. Is there anything we can do to help? Thank you very much, Oh, Krisha. There he goes, stolen something else again. Rodario is just about to take a break. Since you're all here, why don't we enjoy some tea while we talk? Just the tea, thanks. No talking. That now the statue of the saint was stolen. At least they're actually talking, so I don't have to. Saint, you mean Saint Rose Vita? Who's that? Um, Is that the statue above the dungeon? Saint Rose Vita was a hero who liberated Balduke during the Hundred Years' War. She was only the daughter of a farmer, but ended up leading an army against Bretai. That's right. The stolen statue was made during the Hundred Years' War. Rodario had only recently purchased it not more than a week ago. Oh yeah? Is it worth a lot? Probably. Absolutely. Rightfully so. It wouldn't be stolen if it wasn't worth a lot. Though it pains us to have something of ours stolen, it's more upsetting that something made in St. Rosvita's image is the object of greed. That's awful. Mm, do you know who the culprit may be? Hmm. About that. The culprit's left a note, but I, I can't be certain if there's any truth to it. Is it blaming the Monstrums? Is it okay if we take a look? By all means. Rodirio produ procures a slip of paper. Monstrums were here, yeah. Was here, actually. The words Monstrums was here are scribbled across it. What is this? It's a note. This has got to be a joke. A prank by some punk-ass kids. 
That's what we thought. But there were witnesses who said they saw the monstrums. Punk ass. Similar notes were left in other shops, so many believe the monstrums are to blame. Yeah. That's how I've always said it. And it drives me a little bit bonkers when people say could careless. We're the clever ones in the world. There is something strange about all of this. Oh yeah? What's that? Well, this is merely an observation, but how do I put it? Their methods were surprisingly crude. Yes, the lock on the door seemed to have been forcibly opened. The hawk and the white cat are said to have remarkable powers. Isn't that right? I guess so. If so, we all have. These methods would be uncharacteristically unremarkable. That's true. Have you reported this to the garrison? Yes, naturally. But they're already very busy with the many other monstrum complaints. But that was why the Hieroglyph Knight sent you, was it not? I'm grateful that our precious Anamola is safe, at least. And it gives me comfort knowing that little Krisha came to make sure we're all right. Yes, and from what I hear from your father, you left Pendleton to start your own business. Probably. Oh, um, it's a long story. I'm sorry. I should have told everyone about it. There's no need to apologize, dear. We knew it was only a matter of time before you seized your own future. Ever since you were a little girl. Huh? Aww. You're stronger than you look, and you always keep your customers' best interests in mind. To be frank, we were worried knowing that you and your father don't see eye to eye. But we're positive that you'll do just fine, dear. We have faith in you. Thank you. I won't let you down. Is that Asuna? Probably not. I probably would have noticed by now. Earlier than now. But it sounds possibly like Asuna from Sword Art Online English dub. Something something wrong, Credo? Nah, no, just thinking to myself. They were a very nice couple. Yeah, they ended up cheering me up instead of the other way around. Well, instead of you cheering them up. Um, Adol, I have an idea. Why don't we try asking around the other shops that were stolen from too? Our names are on the line, of course, but also I don't think I can just let this stand. Good. Yep, it's like you read my mind. Oh, well, that makes things easier. Anyway, let's stop by the other shops around here and find some witnesses to talk to. Yeah, I think I'll do that next time actually. For now I'm just gonna wander around and get like graffiti and stuff, I guess. And then finish for the day. Because I've had enough for today. Part of me still doesn't want to continue streaming this. I'm getting very tired of all the reading and stuff. Like, I don't hate it anymore, but... I don't want to do all this reading. Even Chrono Trigger has less reading than this. Less talking. A mysterious power wells up in Credo's body. Strength and defense. Kahaha, <laughs> sounds like a good deal to me. Yeah, it does. Ba -ba -bum. Hmm. Longe. Longe stream A. Where am I? I don't want to be in here. Yeah, I guess. I didn't read it all in ESA. But for some reason... For some reason, because it's ES, I feel like I should. Even though this isn't... This isn't... Whoa! This isn't as east as the other east is. 
So if anything, <laughs> we did it. if anything, this is the one game I should make an exception for and not read. But but if I don't read it, I'll just be sitting here silently as I read it to myself, and that would be weird because it was in E8 as well. If anything, I'm tempted to just kind of speed through the non-important chat stuff, like the side quests. I might start doing that. Not sure. See how it well. See how it goes. Why go, Crimson King? Keep on bringing Baldrick the mayhem it deserves. That's a big boy, right there. have a chest. That was a big one. Hmm. Huh, I saw it first. Bloody trying to take credit for it. Oh, what a weird place for some some graffiti. Oh, yeah. I'm a thief at the end of my rope. Think you can outsteal me? You're welcome to try. Go to the agricultural district. The grass is greenest in the most fragrant corner of the fence. I guess so. Oh, is this another bloody. Okay, he's distracted by a cat so I can get in. Norse blue. Blue. Huh, That's a chess table, actually. Confusion. Oh no, there's a quest. Oh no. Speaking of which, the Monstrums ended up hitting this workshop too, right? Yeah, I'm always talking about dragon butts anyway. Yeah, I don't know. I'll probably continue it anyway, because, I don't know, because I'm a fool. But, as in continue streaming it. But maybe I'll try and mix in some other things so it's not always this every stream. Maybe I just need a break is all. Even though it's been a week since I streamed it, so I've kind of had a break, but I don't know. You didn't see him or anything, did you? Actually, I did see some strange figures sometime around dawn. But this game is apparently shorter than E.C. anyway, so... Maybe it won't go on for too much longer. I don't know. I've still got three other members to meet, I guess. So I'm probably about halfway at most. See, I see, that proves it then, they really are the culprits. I thought the Crimson King was of a decent sort, with all I've heard about him lately. Well, I also hear the Feral Hawk went on a rampage through the trapped house in prison. Uh, if you can't trust one monster, you can't trust any in the end. Yeah, whatever. I'll just pick up that quest next time as well. One of these days I'll outdo you, stubborn old goat, then we'll see who the real master is, Marcel. 
Well, your name is closer to Master, so probably you. I bet there's a petal in here. No. Hey, some treasure. Tomatoes. The blacksmith family is cursed. Okay. Old news. Sherlock. I should take a break from this and stream all of Higarashi when they cry. At least the artwork is worth it. The old art, that is. Don't mind us, person. You're a charm. I'm not a big fan of Rising Slash. Whirling Crimson Scythe. That's a expensive one, that is. What are you? Another quest? Oh. They're everywhere. Ow! That was cool. wonderful message you got for me today. Why do I have to be the only sad sack in the sea of happy saps? All I want is for every single person alive to be more of a miserable wretch than me. Is that so much to ask? Ah! Yes! Yes it is. She had an ability as well, I think, that I didn't put on. No, it is on. Skyward Sword, oh dear. Yeah, I've been watching Finney's playthrough of the HD one. I didn't play much of the first one, but I remember the controls being okay on it, but it looks like there might be some struggles with the controls in the HD one. The hostess at the Dandelion is the cutest girl I've ever seen. Maybe they can hire me as a host even to even it out. What's this down here? There's a little bug. Oh. After one? Uh, I think I've read that one before anyway. Whoa! Oh, this is... Yes, Adol, it's a petal. Get excited! Oh! Oh, it's a hieroglyph knight. I wonder what he wants with the stonemason. Ugh, it's him. He just the... Let's just split. But isn't he a friend of yours, Credo? Says who? Come on, let's just go before... Oh no, too late. Hmm, wait, you over there. Great, you saw me. Thanks a lot for, for brains. How is it my fault? He's well slow. Mm, I don't know. Hopefully the drift doesn't cause problems as well. That the Switch definitely doesn't have, according to Nintendo. How's this my fault? Well, well, if it isn't Credo skulking around as always, I don't suppose you made any progress investigating those thefts? Doubtful, seeing as you're out cavort cavorting with the townsfolk. What about. What would Gilbert think of this? 
like I care, why don't you shut your trap and mind your own business? Oh, I most certainly, I most certainly will not. When do you plan on realising that being a knight means... Cough. I apologise for the unseemly behaviour, fair citizens. I am Huon. Huon the Grudge. Of the Hieroglyph Knights, I became a squire around the same time as Credo. I'm assuming you must be acquaintances of his. Has he been behaving himself? No. Uh, well... Honestly, not in the slightest. Yes. yes? What do you mean, Ado? I knew it. You're already something else, Credo. So that's how it is, huh? And they call me the Cold One. I'm um, not to change the subject, but did something happen with the stonemason? Not exactly much as I prefer otherwise. We're actually in need of his services. Monstrums caused a huge ruckus. Hang on a sec. Okay, it's fine. We were attacking the hieroglyph com commandery the other day. Two plus years to figure out the real cause of drift out here. A square of paper behind the stick. Housing. What the fuck? But Nintendo still won't acknowledge it exists and fix it. Number of our facilities were damaged as a result, so I came here to discuss repairs. Curse those monsters, just think about it, it makes my blood boil. Those pesky pesky monsters are always up to no good, aren't they? So that's what brought you all the way out here, how awful! That's not the half of it, we've heightened patrols even with the theft investigations. On top of that, Master Chatelard decided to up our training frequency and intensity. We haven't even had the chance to fully assess the chat house's damages yet. Well, you struck you stuck around listening for this long, Credo. If you don't feel like don't you feel like helping out once even a little? I'm making more mistakes because I'm kind of just trying to read through it as fast as possible. So it's my fault. Nope. See, I actually got these real urgent thefts to investigate. Maybe you've heard of them? Music. You're a real piece of work, you know that. Ador, don't you think we should help him with this? I guess so, but not today. I mean, we're monstrums too. In a way, it's kind of our responsibility. We'll help. Um some point. What, you guys as well? I mean, I appreciate the offer of course, but even if we're short-handed I'm a bit hesitant to ask so much for, from civilians. Hey, since when the hell did we make you our mouthpiece, huh? Since you signed up to be in this game. Don't owe, we don't owe this moss head to chump a damn thing. Is that green hair? Credo, nothing's more important in a workplace than trust. You need to reflect on why you have such a poor reputation with your fellow knights. You managed to get by so far, but earning some brownie points now and then can't hurt. As long as there's no drugs in them. Otherwise, you'll have no one to blame but yourself if you end up discharged, you know? Oh yeah? Since when did I make you my career counsellor? Haha, <laughs> I can see your friends here care a great deal about you, Credo. Alright, you guys could help. I'll let headquarters know. Keeping a leash on this guy is, oh yes, a hell of a task in itself, but I think you can handle it. <clears throat> of course, we'll try to rein him in. The group made their way toward the chapter house, dragging a still grumbling creator behind them all the way. Oh! Shit, how the hell do I end up getting saddled with chore duty? Well, I guess it's my actual job now that that asshole Hoon officially contacted H Huon, contacted HQ. Oh, chin up, Credo. We came all this way, so we might as well get the job done right. Besides, finding the damages should be easy. After all, you're the one who caused them. Ugh, guess there's no way out of it. Let's just get this over with. But for the record, I don't recall Jack on what I broke. They call it a rampage for a reason. I didn't touch the barracks in the back though, that much I know for sure. In that case we should focus on checking the front side of the chapter house. Let's see exactly how much havoc Credo ended up wreaking. Coerced chapter house repairs. I'm just gonna... 
restore and then get back to what I was doing, thanks. Oh my god. Look at it all to look forward to next time. Or maybe I'll just leave it here and finish exploring next time. I've had enough. I would only be doing it to do it because I said I would. That's enough. Oh. You said it, Credo. Chore duty. That's what this game is half the time. More than that, actually.